Good afternoon on the national news this hour from Baba Bagade Imo Television. First, the headlines. Navy intercepted 95 billion naira stolen crew in 10 months. EFCC grills Quara ex governor for alleged financial fraud. Nigerian slam Shehi Tinumbu for preaching endurance over economic hardship. Tanker driver strike won't affect our operations, major marketers. On sports, Doherty gives through story on I flying Luton Town dual playing for Super Eagles Isle of England. I am Mori Rabila Lawal, the news in detail. The Eastern Naval Command of the Nigerian Navy says the Navy saved the nation of 95 billion naira through the operations of the command between April 2023 and February 2024. This was disclosed in Calabar on Monday by Rear Admiral Olushola Oluwagiri during a parade to mark the end of his tour of duty as the Flag Officer Commanding Eastern Naval Command. Following last year's ultimatum by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to service chiefs and heads of security and intelligence agencies to crush perpetrators of air theft, there has been an increased onslaught on air theft in the country. In January, the Nigerian army said it destroyed 233 illegal refineries in Niger Delta region and arrested 112 suspected oil in 2023. Also, on February 11, 2024, the Nigerian Navy ship Bikro arrested a motor tanker cell allegedly involved in crude oil theft in Lagos. The outgoing commander said the command undertook several clearances and anti crude oil theft operations in the backwaters. The former governor of Kwara State, Abdul Fattah Ahmed, yesterday played guest to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, Elon Rizono Command over alleged financial complicity while in office. Abdul Fattah, a financial expert, was Kwara State Governor between 2011 and 2019. Information learned that a former elfman was at the EFCC office about 9 a.m. and was still held out at the time of filing this report. An impeccable source at the EFCC yesterday he confirmed the governor's presence. He got here in the morning and is still with us, as the information reads. Though details of the story were still under wraps at press time, the source said he was invited over controversy surrounding the project during his tenure. Meanwhile, former press secretary to the governor, Wahab Oba, said Ahmed's visit to the EFCC was procedural and routine. The elder son of President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, Mr. Shehi Tinumbu, on Monday pleaded with Nigerians to exercise patience with his father's administration as they weather the challenging economic times. This followed protests in Ibadan, the Oyo state capital, where angry youth took to the street to decry the rising cost of living. More so, a 41-year-old man identified as David Ubaha also staged a lone protest in Uyo, the Akwaibo state capital, to voice his complaint over the harsh economic situation. In the past nine months in office, President Tinubu's economic reforms have sparked collateral instability in the valley of the Naira, heaping hardship on Nigerians as food prices continue to swell. But she, in an Instagram post, reads his father's words from a national broadcast to mark the 63rd Independence Day anniversary last October. She declared he stands with his father and argued that the present generation will yield the fruit of this action. Moving on to the next story, members of the major energies marketers of Nigeria said it would be illegal to negotiate and fix the cost of lifting fuel with members of the National Association of Transport Owners. Information report that the tanker drivers on Monday packed their trucks, refusing to lift fuel over high cost of operations. The NATO president, Yusuf Otsman, adding a letter to truck drivers who are members of other unions and associations, said NATO had made several efforts to secure negotiations for appropriate and commensurate freight rates for its operation from all authorities concerned in the industry especially the major marketers without any positive resolve. However, the major marketers said the decision of NATO to stop transporting fuel may not have much effect on its members, some of whom now have separate transporters. You are watching the national news.
The River State Police Command has killed two Baba, the suspected gang leader believed to be the mastermind behind the murder of the late DPO of Ahuada, Police Division Bako Ambashin. Gift Opara, better known as Two Baba, who is believed to be the leader of a dreaded Icelanders cult group responsible for the death of DPO Ambashin and countless others, has been the target of a coordinated man off by a combined security team of the police and other security agencies. The matter took an interesting turn when the police confirmed the death of Tubaba following a gun battle with his gang. This confirmation was contained in a statement signed by the command's PRO, Grace Eringi Koko, in which the timeline of the man on operation is chronicled chronologically. The police said Tubaba escaped but was later confirmed dead from his injuries and that effort are on to recover his body. And to end the national news is a sports story. UK-based Nigerian football administrator David Doherty has given the true picture of things regarding the international future of Luton Town FC duo Gabriel Osho and Elijah Adebayo. The duo are eligible for the senior national team of Nigeria as well as England, but are yet to be capped by both nations at any level. Their performance is the season for newly promoted Luton Town has ignited talks about their international future. Osho has stamped his feet as one of the first names on the team whenever coach Rob Edwards Pick his defenders with two goals to his name, including one against Arsenal, while Adebayo has nine goals this season. Both players are playing in the English top flight for the first time in their career. In January, Adebayo became the first Luton player to score a hat trick in the Premier League when he netted a treble in the fallen win over Brighton. He also scored against Arsenal, Chelsea, and Manchester City so far this season, as well as a last minute equaliser against Nottingham Forest in October. Speaking on the 26 year old forward and the 25 year old defender, Doherty revealed that both players have been keen on playing for Nigeria long even before they made a step up to the English Premier League. With that sports story, we've come to the end of today's national news. Before we go, some headlines. Navy intercepted 95 billionaire stolen crude in 10 months. EFCC grills Quara ex governor for alleged financial fraud. Nigerian slam she to number for pitching endurance over economic hardship. Tanker driver strike wins affect our operations, major marketers. Police kill prime suspect in Rivers DPO murder. On sport, Doherty gives through story of high flying Luton Town door playing for Super Eagles ahead of England. For updates of our broadcast on YouTube, our handle is Baba Bagide Emo Television. Kindly subscribe and click. On the notification bell, select option all to access all of our broadcasts. On Facebook, Bagade Imo with Alawi Adebayo. Please like and follow the page. For other placement of your goods and services, coverage of events and function, please dial the phone number streaming on your screen. Thank you for watching. I am more Nuri Rabila Lawa.